Praise the Lord and prolific greetings to all the sisters and brothers that's listening to the Rhapsody of Realities reading for today, Friday, 7 July 2023. In today's article, our man of God, Pastor Chris Iakilome said, Be confident in his word. According as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. 2 Peter chapter 1 and the verse 3 Our man of said, the later part of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 21 corroborates what Peter pants for us in the words above. He says, All things are yours, that because all things are in Christ, and Christ is in you. Therefore, both things present and things to come are all yours. Glory to God. In the second paragraph of Man of God said, God divines power not your own ability or human wisdom has given unto you all things that pertain to life and godliness. This means you are not supposed to ever be in lack or one except you choose to. You have got to believe this because it's God's word about you. When God says he has done something you don't have to try to claim it. You simply accept it and act accordingly. His word is all the proof you need. For example, when money is paid to your account in the bank, they probably send you a message or give you a document that confirms that the money has been paid into your account and you believe it. You go about living and acting as one who has that amount deposited in the bank. You even make deals and transactions on the basis that you have that money in the bank. Meanwhile, all you have is a text message or deposit slip from the bank that they have your money. Pastor Grace said in the third paragraph, and in the fourth paragraph, Pastor Chris says, Now, that's the way God wants you to act. Trust what God has written to you. His word. Hallelujah. More than the writings from the bank, His word is more dependable. Let your confidence be on the basis of His word. Glory to God. On the last paragraph, a man of God said, Don't place a limit on your life. You are a child of God, and He has brought you a life of endless resources, limitless blessings and opportunities. Consciously and consistently walk in the light of God's Word. There's nothing you could ever need or desire for a godly life that's not already yours in Christ. Hallelujah. Now, let's take the prayer together with me. Kindly repeat what I say. Dear Father, Thank you for giving me everything I require to live victoriously and be a success in life. You have called me to glory and virtue. You have given me a life of praise and thanksgiving every day, everywhere, and at all times. Praise God. Hallelujah. For the studies, kindly refers to 2nd Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 
and Isaiah 55 verse 10 to 11. Please ensure to meditate on this word for today and have a prolific day ahead. God bless you. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.